Hey everyone, this is Guru Harrell. I'm coming to you today to talk, talk about karambas. So this karambit I ordered from Grandmaster Datu Kelly Warden. It's a beautiful karambit. It's called the Scorpion's Tail. There's a scorpion emblem on this karambit. Uh, this karambit has a lot of great uh, features about it. Um, a couple is that number one is double edge and number two it is at almost a 90 degree angle so we're going to talk about how to open a karambit number one is you always examine the karambit and the sheath what you're looking for and making sure that you confirm is it a clamshell uh, um, sheath or not if it's a clamshell, you never want to have your hands um, at that um, poster uh, and deploy the karambit. So you look again at the sheath, you determine if it's clamshell or not. One kind of indicator that you want to look for are the screws in the uh, karambit sheath. If there are screws there, that means that it's probably safe to grab the karambit here. However, you do not want to grab the karambit like this and deploy. You will get cut. Your fingers will get cut. So you want to go uh, at least to the first screw of the karambit. Uh, if you're going to deploy with your hands, you're going to examine the back uh, and then you're going to place your hands below the um, opening of the karambit. You're going to then grab the karambit, and this karambit is cool because it deploys by rocking. So this one, you want to rock. The great advantage of a rocking karambit is that when you deploy, someone's behind you, you get that cut. Or you rock out and you immediately get that uh, cut this way as well. The next thing when you look at the karambit and, and examine it, is that you want to examine the edge and the capability of the karambit. So basically, double edge, it should cut, and then you want to cut for the hooking as well. So you see, uh, we have the milk jug here, and we're going to examine again the cutting properties of the karambit and the double edge karambit. So I'm gonna cut this way, which should cause a gash in, in the uh, milk jug, and then I'm gonna cut this way. But it also shows why karambits are so highly effective as a tool, because it's just like a regular extension of your hand. Basically like a punch. So right, I go right here, that is a awesome cut, as you can see. If I go right here, that is an incredible cut. And again, it did not take much. So Karambit, its functionality and advantage is that it mirrors the human hand. So if you know how to punch, you know how to cut. 